So this, like I said, is a Leo Photo. This is the Leo Photo Rapid Ranger, and it's an LSR 324 or 324C for carbon fiber. This is a carbon fiber tripod. It's extremely lightweight. It feels very lightweight for its for its size and for its model. And I haven't brought any information for this tripod with me whatsoever. So I'm going to tell you what I've got here in my hand, and then. I'll add a little bit of a clip on the side of the video on the end of this with some information I've got on a piece of paper back in the van. Now, one thing you notice different with this is this has got clips on the side. These are a clip version tripod. Now, you know that I like my threaded ones that you twist on, the twist grips. I'm a big, big, big lover of twist grip. Now, I have got to say, and I'm going to be very, very honest with you guys, these are amazing, all right? I've used lots of different tripods like this and I've really not got on with them and I really don't like them. This is seriously one grip action. There's only three because it's a four section tripod, but these are so easy, you can just flip them out. They're no, they don't clip and lock in, you can just flip them out and the, the smoothness is spot on and they go back in so, so easy. Now they come with their own little key, which is clipped on here. You can pull this off like that and it comes with a key, it's got an Allen key on the end so you can do the top of your tripod up and it's also got a little hex screw which is like a, about a six mil maybe which does up the little hex screws in the back if these get a bit looser but I'm not kidding you, these are the best clips I've ever used and I'm, I will honestly stand by that, I think they're fantastic. I've taken the feet off, the little rubber feet, I've taken them off and they come with these little baby spikes, which I'm a lover of the bigger spike. I wish tripod companies would give you a big spike because you want at least two inches and you can push them into the ground. These little tall, tiny, silver nipple type things really are a little bit too small, but I prefer them than the rubber feet. I just do because when my tripod goes down, I can feel it's solid and it's not moving and it's not sliding around on the rocks. So yeah, I'm really, really a big lover of it. Also, you've got this beautiful solid rubber grip so come winter time when this tripod's really, really cold, getting hold of this rubber grip, you've got something to grip hold of, and it keeps your hand a bit warm by having this rubber grip on it. Of course, as standard to all tripods, you've got different clicks that click down into place as and when. And again, it's one of those systems where you pull it out, you go to where you want to go up, and it locks in place, and it locks into place in each position. So I haven't got to worry about it going back in and forgetting to push the button back in. So again, really, really good. It comes with a uh, carabiner and a screw that you can put in the bottom so you can clip your tripod, uh, your little filters and things on. There's a thread somewhere around here on the side, a uh, quarter inch thread, um, so you can attach a little loop on the side of that. Um, so yeah, in all in all, it's very much standard to a lot of tripods these days and very, very simple and easy to use. Um, tripods now are so fantastically well made. On this one, it comes with this head. It comes with the Leo Photo LH40. It's a double notched head, which means basically that you can notch it, drop it down one position and you can drop it down in a second position. So that may be very handy for certain people depending on what they're doing. It's also a tensioner head. So I've got the tension set up. I've undone my screw on the side and I can now move my tripod into position without actually holding on to it and it falling around. It's got that nice tension to it and then I can lock it off tight and it's nice and solid once it's in place. But I can loosen this off all the way and it is still only gonna move it in that slight amount. So for me, that's a really good ball head and it works very, very well. And you've also got the panel on the side. You can click that and you can spin the tripod round on the panel. And again, the further you open it, the looser it becomes and spins easily. So again, it's well designed, well made and really thought out for a ball head. So again, quite recommend that. Um, it comes with a standard Arca Swiss top plate and it gives you a really big plate as well if you need one. Most of the people these days have an L bracket on their camera, so again, you don't really need the Arca Swiss plate, but it's good to attach other things to. So all in all, it's a very, very nice tripod and I am going to put my name to it because at the moment, I think there's a lot of features on this that work well because this is beautiful. It's a, such a nice action. It really does make it quick, simple and easy to use, um, but it's not going to convert me. I do like my twist grips. And the reason I like my twist grips is when you shink this down into place and you put it together, when I want to put it in my bag, I've got this great big clump of section to be pushed into my bag. Whereas if I didn't have all of these on the side there and you've just got the twist grips, it slides into the pocket a lot easier. And that's purely because my bag's only got a very small pocket, um, so I can, can't afford to have it any bigger and bulkier. So I'm going to stop the video here, take a couple more pictures, and when I get back to my van, I'm going to show you the extension that comes in the bag because you've got a small extension that comes with it and the other little features, the fittings that come with this tripod. So yeah, all in all, quite a nice little bit of kit.
So I'm back in the van. I just wanted to show you this. Um, just cut from the video a moment just to give you a bit of a insight. I've got a little bit of paper here with some information on it. This is the bag that this uh, nice little tripod comes in, uh, the Ranger. And it's got a nice blue zip on it, very easy to find with some big ring pills if you're into that sort of thing. So you can get the bag open very, very easily and a long camera strap that's attached to the back. Uh, so inside this you also get, uh, like I said, you get the extension, which is tucked away inside here. You get this little extension, uh, which is about, oh, I don't know, 12 inches long. I suppose it's 12 inches, um, drops down to six, about 150 mil-ish, 180 mil. Um, so yeah, it drops down to a smaller size and this is designed really to be attached to the top so you take your ball head off you attach this to the top and then put that on top your ball head on the top so it gives you that extra reach if you want to get that bit of extra height and um, this would also act quite well as a little vlogging stick as well um, which is quite could be quite handy um, but yeah it's, it's a little attachment that comes with it and sits in the tripod rather than having it sticking out the bottom and the reason is being is this tripod will go all the way down to the floor flat and uh, you can get your camera within inches off the ground. Uh, it does actually probably say on this bit of paper how low it will go, um, but the writing is so small, I can't read it. Interestingly, you also get this little pouch with it. This little pouch I've discovered on the other photo, the other Leo photo tripod that I had a look at, uh, which was the blue titanium one. If you haven't seen that, please do have a look at that. I'll put a link up for you. But I thought this little pouch that comes with all the little gizmos in it would be a good little waterproof pouch to put your phone in. You can actually slot your phone in this, zip it up and hang it um, on your belt, your waist, your tri whatever you want. But, uh, it's a good little way of um, carrying your phone if you're going out in the water. So in this pouch, you get instructions and a um a warranty card and stuff like that i'm just going to pull it all out for a moment you get three tripods <laughs> no you don't you get three allen keys in fact three allen keys um these are designed for the two allen keys to go in either side which is really nice you get a pair and you also get a tiny allen key which i'm not entirely sure what it's for um there's bound to be an allen key on here somewhere i think it's probably it takes these little tiny knurly knocks out the bottom of your uh, Arca Swiss compatible plate. Um, that's what it's for, I think. Uh, these also fit the legs. So if you want to do these sections up or strip it down and take it apart uh, for cleaning, that's what they're for. But you also get this little carabiner clip. See this little carabiner clip there? Uh, this can be clipped onto your camera bag, onto your accessory pouch or whatever it is you use and again it's got a small allen key attached to that for going in there and you've also got allen keys built on the side two slightly different sizes i think there is there um, and these are going to be used for doing up your tripod if you need to it's a very very handy little thing to have comes on a loop there's also a flat plate which is great for doing up your uh, screw on the bottom of your tripod so you can do it up with that uh, it's like a flat blade screwdriver and if you're really really interested there's also a little bit of metal in there which can be used for a bottle opener for popping the old bottles open if you're a wine or a beer drinker it also comes like i said with a carabiner you get a small carabiner on a clip and it's got like a little o-ring and a quarter inch thread which can either be threaded in the side on the side of the tripod which is what i do i like a little ring on the side so i can clip my filters on when I'm carrying the tripod around and my filters attached or you can clip it in the bottom and it goes into the bottom and you can have them hanging on the bottom if you want to hang a camera strap or tie it down with a lanyard or something like that uh, but I really can't put anything else up because even on my little bit of paper I don't have a lot apart from what I've already told you so thank you for watching this and uh, back over to the video